What's going on everybody and welcome back to another VTOL VR video. My name is Scary Spikes and today I'm bringing you not one but two different ways to engage air targets with the active radar guided AMRAM missile, that's the AIM-120 AMRAM, or our best friend tried and true AIM-9 Sidewinder. If there's a particular topic that you'd like to see covered that I haven't already, make sure to let me know down in the comments below and let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody, so we're up here in the FA-26B. We're on the training mission, and we've got Overlord in the background, so they might interrupt me, uh, so just bear with me on that. Right, so we, we want to set the aircraft up for our air-to-air -air engagements, and the very first thing that we need to do, in my opinion, is the master arm switch, since that is the one thing that is going to allow us to deploy our weapons. So uh, on the FA-26B, it can be found down here. Make sure to open up that little thing there, and then just go ahead and flick this up, and now we are good to go. Uh, some basic symbology before we get started. We've got our uh, speed right there in the top left hand corner. You can see your weapon information. You've got your attitude uh, in the middle here and then you've got your altitude on the right hand side. On the very bottom right hand corner we're going to get some information as to the reasonable uh, deployment range of our weapon. That's once we've got the weapon selected and the target locked. So in order to find and lock the targets, uh, the first thing that I'd recommend is always just make sure to switch to your nav screen. You can always go to the home screen anytime you want and the nav is going to be on the very bottom left hand corner. Go ahead and click on that and then just simply zoom out a little bit. Now we're very lucky here because Overlord has given us the intel of where the enemies are so we can start turning towards the enemies and I'm going to put on the altitude autopilot here just so that we are not losing or gaining any altitude as I describe the rest of the process. On the uh, left hand side we're going to go ahead and turn on the radar that's going to be up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now it'll say radar off most likely so if you want to go ahead and correct that to make sure that your radar is turned on. The best way to do that is right here uh, just a little bit to the left of your ADI. Go ahead and turn this on to on and then you'll see that your radar will start scanning. Now we don't see anything quite yet even though we know that there are enemies ahead so what we're going to go ahead and do is just increase that range just a little bit and even just with one clip there you can see that we have an enemy right there. In order to be able to interact with them we need to make the radar our sensor of interest or our soy. So you're going to go ahead and click on that and we'll just increase the range one more time. There we go. We well, just lost track of the enemy just for a second. All right, then the only thing that we need to do is just select our um, main weapon that we're going to be using. In this case, we're going to start with the AIM-120 AMRAM. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and increase just a little bit of speed. I'm going to grab the joystick with my right touch controller, and I'm going to use the joystick on top of that touch controller to put my little green box there over the red enemy. And I'm going to click in twice with the top joystick. All right, and that's going to give us a little bit of a sight picture here. We're going to disengage autopilot and start following uh, the target. No, we're not tracking him for some reason. There we go. Okay, looks like we're tracking him now. But I think he's trying to lose us, so we're going to increase speed just a little bit. All right, so we've got our target right there straight ahead, and uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the stick, and with the top two, or the top of the two action buttons, the face buttons on the touch controller on the right-hand side here, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, AIM-120, uh, and again, you'll be able to see that there. If you want to turn on your Himix or your helmet-mounted queuing system, you can do so with this little thing here, and then just make sure that your visor is down. You can turn on your visor by bringing your hand over to the side of your helmet and clicking with the trigger, and then you'll get the Himix up and running. Uh, alternatively, you can also click this button to cycle your visor. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and slow down here because we're getting pretty close. And for some reason, we are losing track of the target. Let's go ahead and lock them up again. There we go, there they are. And so we're gonna be seeing a few things here. Uh, we're gonna see a little circle there. Uh, basically, that's representative of the seeker and the uh, the radar seeker on the AIM-120 MRAM. There's a little dot right there. That's an indication of where the enemy is going. And then you can see just over our nose here, the square is a representation of the enemy themselves. And uh, basically what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're within range. You can see that there's a little chevron and it's within that little bar at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. So that's telling us that we're well within range. We're getting the shoot cue as well. And so really the only other thing we need to do is line up the dot, which is where the enemy is going, which is right there, uh, with our seeker. So let's go ahead and just nose down a little bit and to the right. And then Fox 3. All right, missile is Pitbull. 
And splash! Target's down. Go ahead and break away. Alright, let's go ahead and transition to a 9 Sidewinder. Uh, it's going to be a heat-seeking missile. And uh, we're not going to need to use the radar, but I'm pretty much just indoctrinated to uh, use the radar. So we're going to go ahead and do that anyway. Um, but essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and grab the stick and... Uh, the top of the two uh, face buttons here to change weapon and you're gonna hear a little bit of a growl uh, you can have the same sight picture here as you can see we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn right here to line up with some enemies and uh, we're gonna get a little bit more speed here so we can catch up to them and that little growl is basically the uh, active uh, homing system of the aim 9 and this will work exactly the same way on the airs T missile which is uh, also a uh, very similar missile to the AIM-9. They're both guided by heat, or IR in this case. And uh, when we have that sight picture over any kind of heat source, whether or not we have them locked on the radar, uh, we're gonna hear uh, that the missile starts to really growl, and that's when we know that we have a pretty good lock. So we do have the shoot command. We're gonna go ahead and FOX-2. And these are fire and forget missiles, so we should be able to break away, but I'm just going to stay just to make sure we get a good uh, hit. So there we go. I'm going to fire off another one, Fox 2. And we got a splash. So we hit a couple targets. <laughs> we didn't hit the target that we were going after, uh, but we did get a nice splash. So there you go. All right, everybody. Well, that is how you use AIM-120 MRAMs and AIM-9 Sidewinders and air-to-air -air engagements. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, you can help me out in a huge way by just remembering to like the video. There we go. <laughs> I'm still working on it, uh, to like the video and make sure to become a subscriber if you haven't already with notifications turned on. Uh, links are going to be down below as well if you'd like to help me out a little bit more directly by becoming a channel member here on YouTube or a Patreon, or patron rather, on my Patreon page. Thank you so much to all of you for all of your support and I'll see you in the next video.